Friday morning, it means it's time for the first federal money program with local legend Dick Belcher. Good morning, sir. How are you? Legend? Yes. yes it that's, indicates that's the story it of greatness. They never know their own. It indicates they've been around a long time. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hi, Scott. Good morning, sir. Glad to have you here. Good to be here. Glad to have you here. Thank you. It's going to be a great weekend, great day. Yes. It's going to get up to about 83 mm -hmm. and pleasant all day. Really and nice. tomorrow it's a little warmer, but uh, we'll take it. Okay, now, Baron, <clears throat> you're an astute guy. What did you think of the British election? Well, I was asking before we went on the air if you thought that uh, that helped anybody else but Vladimir Putin. Okay. It's interesting. If you look at a map, it's like Scotland was almost solid, stay in, while yeah. the lower half was almost solid, get out. Yeah. Two years ago, was it, Scotland voted barely, barely. to stay in. <laughs> so uh, things are interesting. I guess that'd be a good way to put it. Cameron's yeah. already said he's gone, and I don't blame him. Yeah, right. Well, and the stock market's over there have tumbled today. Yeah. I think in Germany are down 10 percent. That will ripple here to the U.S. when they open up at 9.30 this morning. In terms of actual, I don't know, real world effects, I was trying to think yesterday, what kind of business, if I'm in Indiana, does the state of Indiana or the Midwest, I mean, I assume that we ship auto parts, they build some cars over there. Yeah. I don't know about agriculture, I assume we send them agricultural products. Yeah, they, they would sell some grain over there. They're kind of a gateway to the rest of Europe, though, I think. For a I guess. Well, it is what it is. And yep. the stock market will go through little cringes and then uh, ripple out uh, next week sometime. <laughs> They'll blame it on something mm -hmm. that happens next yeah. week. Yeah. Did you know that this is the National Take Your Dog to Work Day? No. I talked to my dog this morning. He didn't want to work. On, he <laughs> want, didn't want to work on Friday. <laughs> Only human beings would make up such a ridiculous <laughs> holiday. Very, it'd be very disruptive. Uh, Who else would you expect to make up a holiday? Well, yeah, well, yeah that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mary. <laughs> It'd be kind of frightening if anybody else did it. Yeah. Okay, a little trivia this morning. Gardening is considered the most popular hobby in the United States. Did you know that? It's not it surprising, is, but I it didn't is. Know that. It is. What hobby comes in as second most popular? Fishing, reading, or genealogy? Oh. Okay. Now, were were you thrilled that uh, Cleveland won the NBA? I could see his enthusiasm. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't. He didn't know this. They can't hear the head shaking on the radio. <laughs> What's the NBA? Yeah, but we can see it. We can see it on TV. That's right. Yeah. Uh, thrilled's not the word. I was interested in the way it ended up. But. Okay. Well, the first time in 53 years that Cleveland had, had won a national yeah, championship. I know. Well, if you've ever been to Cleveland, you could understand that. <laughs> but they got the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yeah. Think. <laughs> That's right. And the Republicans are having their convention there. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Boy, I wonder what they paid the Republican Party to come there. Well, I see, uh, according to the uh, Indianapolis Star this morning, the, uh, Greg Doyle, who writes a sport column, says that uh, Larry Bird has turned into a magician this week. Really? Yeah, because he's gotten... Uh, Greg, uh, he's gotten uh, Jeff Teak and Thaddeus Young. Okay. Another. Yeah. I I've learned with the Pacers, you see, you believe what you see. You know, you don't have faith in the force, Luke. You actually believe in what you can see in front of your eyes. Okay. All right. Moving right along here. Can't see you uh, nod. On TV or on radio, they can, can it? <laughs> okay, uh, some upcoming events. Bar barbecued chicken is served tomorrow from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. or until sold out at Faith Outreach Center. Proceeds will be used for young summer camp, youth summer camps. The 32nd annual bi-county uh, bi County classic truck and tractor pull is today and tomorrow at 7 p.m. at the 4-H Fairgrounds. Channel 4 going to do that? We won't be covering that one, no. We no. let them make their money at the gate. 
You want to see it, you have to go. Okay. Indiana Quarter Horse Association opens uh, open horse show is Saturday and Sunday at the Fulton County Equestrian Center. Admission is free. They're going to have a lot of things going on out there. They do. They do. We're going to try and cover a couple of their events later this year on TV. Now I'm a little concerned having all those horses out there and having those loud tractors. Yep. Are they going to match up okay? They'll figure it out, won't they? <laughs> okay. Hang on to your horse. Now I own a Mud Lake Boosters hosts a uh, pork loin dinner at 5 to, to 7 p.m. Saturday at Niona Lake Clubhouse. Proceeds will be used to pay for street lights. Rochester Downtown Partnership hosts a 5K color run walk on July 2nd. You going to do that? I'm volunteer to do photography there, so All I'll right. be ahead of them, behind them, trying to get some shots of everything happening. During the walk? During the color run, yeah. yeah. Okay, well... But no, I'm not going to run. Make sure you got colored film in. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll grab a colored card. High speed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. The uh, registration and sign-in begin at 7 a.m. and the race is at 8 a.m. Parking will be available on the grass lot on the corner of 7th and Monroe. At least it, they didn't say uh, 9th and Main. A beach party with swimming follows. So we're going to have a beach party after that. Heather Carr will perform in an original musical written for the Civic Players of Logan Sport. The 15th anniversary production of Big City will be June 24th and 25th at the McHale Performing Arts show. Uh, is set during the age of swing and b-hop jazz. Heather uh, is part of the First Federal family and she's uh, been uh, very active in that group down there so uh, you might want to go down for the evening. Lake Bruce Association is having a car show Saturday at Lake Bruce Garage 991 North Main Street. Bruce, Lake Bruce has got a Main Street I guess they do. Everybody's got a main street. <laughs> All are welcome to attend and bring cars, trucks, motorcycles, and tractors. No entry fee is required. A fried fish meal will be served to elevate your cholesterol. Here you go. Annual Lake Manitou Association Lake Fest Dinner and Auction is Saturday, July 9th. The theme is the Roaring Twenties. The festivities begin at 6 p.m. at the Moose Family Center with Happy hour followed by 7 p.m. meal prepared by Giretti's. The event is open to the public. Tickets are $25. Okay, some things interesting to know. City employees moved the former Round Barn Festival information booth to a field near Winfield Crossing. That means we're done with the Round Barn Festival, huh? I think we are. Hmm, okay. The structure will be refurbished and placed at the Nickel Plate Trail Trailhead. The citizens group that's working on rehabbing uh, the Times Theater has reached an agreement to accept the building and begin fundraising. Oh, no, that's good. How soon will we see movies there? Okay, Nancy Hudson is the new Fulton County Purdue Extension Service Health and the Human Service Educator. Oh, some milestones that have been met. Mary Jane Zellers passed away this week. She's a longtime teacher at the Rochester school system. And Mary Jane did a lot of stand-up routines. Uh, she's quite a was quite a dramatic person. I had her in school, and she uh, that's taught me about being dramatic. Well, that's the first word that comes to my mind when I think. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, some flowers today to Rochester Greenhouse. Uh, they dedicated a portion of its proceeds from the Memorial Day sale to American Legion Post 36 to help cover the cost of flags placed on veterans' graves. The winners of the Fulton County Chamber of Commerce Indiana Bicentennial Parade Friday were Fulton County United Way Loyal Bison. You know, loyal. Oh yeah, we've interviewed Loyal a couple of times. Have you? Oh yeah. 
he didn't slip up and call him Germany Station. No, no, they didn't. Okay. <laughs> hey, but they did a nice job on that painting of that of our bison for did, Fulton County. Did they? Really nice. I understand it's down here at the foundation that yes, window yes. right now. They're going to move it around the uh, county, I understand, and uh, kind of have a little game of it where you'll be able to go out, take pictures of it, and find it, that kind of thing. So <coughs> a lot of PR. It'll be a traveling bison for a few weeks here. Now, who's in charge of? Feed? That'd be the United Way with Jenny Moriarty. She's in charge of feed and water. Yeah, she takes care of that too. Okay, hope she does a good job. I'm sure she will. Okay, some flowers also to uh, Rochester High School former teacher Eileen Howard. She got the Achievement Award for Excellence in Economic Education from jun Junior uh, Achievement. Okay, uh, we don't like to do weeds, but I think we got to today with the set-in that they had in, in Congress. Looked like a bunch of fifth graders. That Boy, they did. Hmm. They had yeah. a fundraiser letter out, though, about it. What? They was fundraising off of it. Did they? Yeah, they had fundraiser letters out on it. And they had those letters typed up before they walked out on the floor. You know, that's that's sad. Fundraising off a tragedy. Okay. So, well, I guess your weeds, the big weeds. That's why I threw the one from the NRA in the trash when I got it in the mail. Same <laughs> thing. Just send me one of those. Congress, as far as I'm concerned. And they could, can't be demeaned much more, Dick. <laughs> it's about the bottom. Okay, we're about there. Mm. Okay. All right. Uh, in uh, money news, uh, interest rates are still staying flat. The 10 year treasury is, is at 1.51%, amazingly low. And uh, the Dow was up 230 points yesterday. It closed at 18,011. Uh, it's been f flaunting with 18,000 a long time, and that won't last long when the market opens today. That'll that'll be going down. So we already talked about that. That first federal will open today uh, five p till 5 p.m. and tomorrow on Saturday 8:30 to noon. Next month we will be rolling out our new Mastercard debit card with the EMV, that's EuroPay MasterCard Visa Slash. This thing originated in Europe. Oh, well, that's how to be a raging that's, success. That's why they have EuroPay MasterCard <laughs> Slash Visa. Somebody, but it'll function like a normal? They, no. Oh, good. Well, it's going to be much safer. It's got all those things on it. Costs a lot of money. It's got the new chip in it, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Yep, seeing all those coming out now. That'll get you a cup of coffee and <laughs> a bagel. A little more safely than before, right? Yeah, yeah. Really safe. So, uh, these new cars were all for continued convenience and increased security. You got it written right here. Each trans transaction. Uh, at a chip enabled uh, terminal generates a unique code. Now, not all of these terminals, you, you can't use it every place yet. Right. As, as uh, the chip, but uh, it's, it's uh, spreading. Now, if they don't have a chip, you can still run the card yeah. like normal, right? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We'll get rid of your money. <laughs> your current Visa debit card should be used until you get your new one. And when you get your new one, I destroy the old one. First Federal is FDIC insured and equal housing lender and our NMLS number is 399927. Dave Fincher, welcome. Glad to have you here. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Okay, we had you here a year ago uh, talk about uh, the, uh, hit, uh, the... Relay for Life? Relay, yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Relay for Life. Got a check right here for you. Right down to... I that. appreciate that. Now, don't let me forget at the end. I will check. not forget to okay. take your check. <laughs> okay. Trust me. Okay, Relay for Life. Give us some facts about it here in Fulton. All right, well, Relay for Life's been going for quite a while here. Uh, tomorrow or Saturday, it starts at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, we have a survivor lap at 5 o'clock and survivor dinner at 5.30. And those are things that if you're a survivor and not registered for the survivor dinner, Come on out. We want to have you, you and your spouse, you and your friend, whoever you want to bring. But we'd love to have you come out and join us. Uh, 
we'd have anywhere from I don't know 35 to 75 people to come to the dinner and uh, this whole thing is to honor survivors and uh, so we honor survivors it gives those people who are newly diagnosed hope and that's what we're all about is giving hope uh, you know one thing I want to say about the relay and the money we raise here I've, one of the objections I've heard before is that well the money doesn't stay here it goes out of town well when we start doing research here on cancer it'd probably stay here Indiana is one of the fortunate states that we take in more research money than what's raised in Indiana for cancer. It goes to IU, Purdue, and Notre Dame. Receive more money than all the money raised in Indiana. So it's a, I think the money spent well. We're finding cures. There are cancers now we cure all the time. My mother-in-law, what she passed from 35 years ago, barely anybody passes from it unless they just ignore it. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, there is hope in the, there's, I have an 800 number here. It's 1-800-227-2345. And if you have any kind of cancer question or you've been diagnosed and you don't understand things, the, you feel like you haven't been informed, call that number. They, you tell them what cancer you have and they'll send you all the information they have on it so you can read it in the comfort of your home, privacy, and without, uh, and, and be secure and know you have information that's good for you. Well, you've been involved with Relay for Life for how many years? I wish I knew, probably oh. 10 or 11, I don't know how long, long time, my uh, wife got me involved. Okay, your wife got you involved, and but you you got to have a burning uh, thing in you that uh, keeps you there. Well, uh, I on July 1st this year I'll celebrate my 10 year uh, being cancer free. And, uh, it's been? Yeah, it's been, it's 10, been years. 10 years. Yeah, it's been 10 years on January, or July 1st this year. and. Uh, you know, I, I'm fortunate because Don Brunn had the same cancer I had, and he's gone. Russ Langley, Langley Sewer Systems, he had the same cancer I had, he's gone. You know, uh, Pat Hattishell had the same cancer I had, he's gone. But there's it all spread in my head, so, you know, uh, I feel like I need to pay back. I want to I get back. I want to try and help more people got, go through what, what I went through wasn't bad. Forgive but, me for asking, but... This is the kind that's in your side, and they ended up taking a kidney. Yes. Yeah, I had a ki I had yeah. kidney cancer. Yeah, my Once. mom had that, and she lasted 20 years, but it's because they caught it quick enough, yeah. it hadn't gone out through the body. Right. And they were able just to take out this. Uh, the mass looked like a football. Yeah. Took it out, and then she lived for another 20 years. Yeah. And and she didn't die of that cancer because no. Once it once <clears throat> sac breaks, it becomes renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma. It's different than kidney cancer. It's the same cancer that's traveled to some other part of your body. Right. Uh, okay. You got teams involved. We here. have teams involved. Uh, uh, I think we have eight or ten teams. Maybe no. Uh, we have sixteen or seventeen. Fourteen. Teams. Fourteen. You Listed. know more than I do. <laughs> See? Listed on your website yesterday. All right. Fourteen teams. Uh, we are very close to becoming a pace center team, a pace center event, which means we set our goal higher than last year and very close to meeting that. I think that we will hit the goal, but uh, you don't know until yeah. you count the money that night. So, uh, and uh, how much is that goal? You know? I think it's around thirty thousand dollars. Was it on the website too? I did not look at your. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been gone all week. I come back for a short meeting last night with the relay folks, and uh, now, I saw some businesses around town really stepped up this year. Yeah, that's it's. We're doing a lot more going on. A lot more people working. I think with us changing the hours from four in the afternoon to midnight, not going overnight. Mm -hmm. Has increased the participation and has people more excited about coming out. I mean, really, those people that stayed from midnight to six in the morning were the same twenty people every year. Yeah, and uh, they would be happy to go home at midnight and get up, and go to church in the morning. Absolutely, I should say just real quick that uh, RTC will uh, get our cameras out there. There'll be a live feed for the entire event available at RTC4.com. Don't let that stop you from coming out. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Come on out. Uh, Especially survivors, we'd like to see if it's a survivor lap. Uh, the uh, closing ceremonies at midnight will be also very nice. The uh, 9.30 is the luminary ceremony, which is very touching. If you have not been through that or seen it, it's a chance to decorate a bag, and uh, they put luminaries in them, uh, or put lights in them, and they light up the, the track for the rest of the evening. And that's a, that's a special time for a lot of people when they, they're decorating a the bag for someone they've lost. So... Okay, First Federal has a team, and uh, I got a, a note yesterday from Ashley Stuber, who's uh, kind of heading this up, that uh, First Federal so far has $3,361. All right. 
That's great. Yeah, and also, also, I have a check for you, uh, which is for two hundred ninety dollars. We have Blue Jean Day last week and uh, raised two hundred ninety dollars. And uh, this goes along with First Federal's fiftieth anniversary. We have a charity of the month, and uh, Relay for Life is uh, for this month. Well, thank uh, you. So, so uh, all right, now that what. Tell us a little bit about the teams. I know they all are decorated. Uh, their spot is. And well, they decorate their spot. They, uh, you know, every team does something different. Some teams will just have a canopy and some lawn chairs. Other teams will have full-blown uh, decorations uh, with the theme. Uh, one of the fun things is they have a road recovery car race, and teams make cars and out of cardboard, and they have to race with them. They'll have those around their campsites, but. Uh, People pick a theme. I don't know what's first federal theme. Do you know? Yes. Would you uh, share it with us? It's, well, I'm, I'm sworn to secrecy. However, it is <laughs> a fifty uh, diner. A fifty diner. Yeah, like hmm. the old string yeah. diner used to be. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cool idea. With, with your fiftieth anniversary. Yeah. You, you got it. Hey, you know. Okay. I didn't just fall off the turnip truck. Truck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it, uh, it's, a, it's a big event, a big fundraiser, and uh, uh, so we start at 4 o'clock Saturday and go to midnight. Go to midnight. Another uh, popular item is the uh, Mr. and Mrs. Relay, and uh, that this year will be no singing. We'll just have some questions and answers where... Uh, no singing? No singing. Yeah, we had some singing last year, and <laughs> you might have said it was a little interesting at times, and... Uh, so it's really going to midnight, and it's a family event. Uh, okay. We thought we might cut out some of the singing. Yeah. Now you're still going to have a musical presence. We there, will. Right? There'll be a band there the whole night. Yeah. There'll be a live band there the whole night. That's great. Different bands. Nope. Or same same band. band. Same band there all night. Wow. Yeah. And the name of that band? I have no idea. Yeah. That's an interesting thing. Yeah. Okay. Surprise. Surprise. Yeah. Surprise. Surprise. Okay, now uh, let's shift gears a little bit. I know All you're right. involved out at Geneva Center. I am. And uh, some things have happened out there recently. Uh, tell us about that. Well, probably about a year a year ago, the Presbyterian Church put together a team to spin the Presbyterian or the Geneva Center off from the Presbyterian. And they went through that. It took about a year to do it. And this January, uh, Geneva Center became its 513 c and is self-governing. We're not tied to the Presbyterian Church. We lease the property from them, and we run Geneva Center now. There's a board of directors, and no, who's we? We, I guess I should say Kathy Adley runs Geneva Center. Okay, but uh, yeah, she answers to a board of directors. Uh, uh, eight of us from Northern Indiana. I'm the only local person on the committee. Our presidents from uh, Valparaiso. Uh, we got people from South Bend, teachers. We have a couple of pastors on the committee. They're all Presbyterian, but our chore is to turn Geneva Center around from where it was headed to be profitable again. Well, I know you had a fundraiser uh, again for the 50th anniversary. It was uh, established out there 50 years ago. We did. We uh, actually had to start our fundraiser last fall, and I think we were close to $45,000 so far. But that's, you know, we're Geneva Center and the Presbyterian Church have been supporting it in such a way that without that support we were, we'd be in trouble but we didn't have anybody actually managing the day-to-day -day affairs of the center the way we needed to so uh, I think if we hadn't changed spun it off Geneva Center would probably be gone by the end of this year and the church would be selling the property off and uh, but you saved it well we haven't saved it yet yeah we haven't yeah, saved it yet yeah you have but uh, I think we're on the path uh, the uh, Jim Hubbard our president worked for a boss ditch uh, for years and he wrote a business plan and the plan's working so we're excited about where it's at we were really worried about getting to this month and we see now we have light to the end of the year and uh, so yeah it's a it's exciting okay now what's going on out there as we speak right now we're uh, running a summer camp uh, <coughs> summer camp started two weeks ago now is that a Presbyterian that's Pres sponsored? it's Presbyterian sponsored summer camp okay for our kids from five years old up to high school age all right now I'm a shepherd for kids who are middle school kids. Okay. We have ten of them. We do an adventure camp. We camp out in tents. Actually, when we're in Rochester, I go home and sleep in my bed. <laughs> but with the storms, they spent a couple nights in cabins this year. 
Uh, we cook over an open fire. We try to do that. And uh, we're teaching them all about, this week it's been about trust, community, uh, justice, standing up, having courage, and taking it home. So. And motherhood and apple pie. And motherhood and apple pie. Okay. And baseball. Okay. Now, Dave, do they have the Camp We Can this weekend? Is that still at Geneva Center? Yeah, Camp We Can starts on uh, Saturday yeah. or Sunday. Saturday or Sunday mm -hmm. and goes through Tuesday. Okay. And uh, we break summer camp for that, and then we come back to summer camp after that. Very good. Well, we'll be out there to cover that. It's a great thing you guys do out yeah. there with them, too. Yeah, and I've, I'll, I'll be volunteering out there at my photo booth for the kids with that. So. I volunteer sometimes to feel more than I work. <laughs> you ever feel like that? Uh, well, you, you've done that all your life. I'm afraid I have. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay, uh, so we got, we got the Presbyterian uh, uh, Center fixed. And uh, now, Relay for Life. Give them a reminder. Come out on Saturday at 4 o'clock to Relay for Life. <laughs> that looked well, didn't it? Uh, Relay for Life starts at 4 o'clock. We'd love to have you out. Survivors, uh, 5 o'clock Survivor Lab. Be there for opening ceremonies at 4.30 if you can. Um, 4 o'clock opening ceremonies. And we'd love to have everybody come out and see what's coming in. If you've not registered, you'll have to register at the door, sign all the waivers, and get that done. But we'd love to have you. Thank you for stopping by today and talking Thank you. about that. And you do it. Great job with the relay, and uh, I'm sure you'll get your thirty thousand dollars in. I think we will too. Okay, thank you for having me, Dave Fincher. Who's uh, are you the head Fred with the uh, relay for life? Oh no, oh, uh, I'm just a little peon. You're a peon. Yeah. Okay, head peon. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. This I appreciate morning. you having me. Okay, man. our trivia this morning that uh, gardening is considered the most popular hobby in the United States. What hobby? Ho hobby comes in a second most popular. Is it fishing, reading, or genealogy? I'll take a wild guess and say fishing. Say reading. No, uh, I gotta go with genealogy. You're right. Genealogy. Yeah, there's not that many people that still read. It's like four in a row, Dick. <coughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. Praise me. Where's my shirt? Something. <laughs> I'll give you a coffee. Buddy. Okay, coffee okay, mug. Somebody give that man a shirt. Right now, right? <laughs> okay, let's close with this statement by Franz Kafka, who's an Australian author. You know about him? Just from you. He's an author and poet. Died in 1924. He said, anyone who keeps the ability to see beauty never grows old and well, here's your check thank you very much there you go there's thanks for the, this this check's actually from the employees of the first federal isn't it that's right uh, we appreciate the employees and what they've done thank you very good gentlemen lady all of you thank you very kindly first federal money program coming your way friday mornings and dick do we have anything else we need to do real no quick? we're done all righty then you done i'm done okay. buying your first home let the experts at First Federal Savings Bank help you through the process. At First Federal, all of their mortgage loans are serviced locally with payment options that are convenient for you. Their staff will work with you answering your questions and providing professional service. First Federal will even pay standard closing costs for qualifying first-time home buyers. Just another way, First Federal takes care of you, your local mortgage lender.